chaos ensues as they start ticketing cars. About time. Morning all. So we are out on this. This is the LSN from Lexmoto. Small version of this is called the LX LSZ. But this is the LSN. A glorious little bike, this one. Now, I did label this as the MT125 killer because it's good Chinese copy of the MT125 and about two grand cheaper. And this rides absolutely beautiful. Based on the Aprilia engine, this one. All the controls literally scream MT. Everything is absolutely copied down to the last bit. And what a glorious bike this is. It runs absolutely beautiful. So, we've already done the first test ride on this. Now, we did it with the Insta. And Silly RB forgot to connect up the road mic, turn the road mic on. So, all, I could, all I've recorded was a shed load of uh, blank. Because, obviously, the road mic is what's powered into the... Uh, Insta camera. So hopefully this time it will work. Big lorry reversing. Wait for him. Let him in. Now he's obviously going in to the storage yard. And that used to be the plumber's shop. And it's now Master World Foods Trade Centre. Pratty's Original Food. Right, well, Mr. Pratty, move your lorry. Wait for him to get out of the way. Once we do that, we'll get down to RB Bridge and we'll show you around the bike. As long as I don't get delayed by the uh, level crossing coming down. Cars everywhere, as always. Where's everyone parking? All over the road. Now, just glancing around the bike, my knees are tucked nicely in under this tank. And from a low gear, got a good exhaust sound to it. Really does sound good. Now, over speed bumps. Gearing it down onto the back brake. I'd say it's mid to firm on suspension. Now once you get used to the clutch on these, the clutch is, until it starts wearing in, quite heavy. It feels like a big bike clutch when you actually pull it in. It's not like, it takes one finger. You really need to get a good handful of clutch lever to pull it in, which is what I like. don't like these really soft clutches that you get. But on the display, and I'm sure we can post-edit to try and get down on the display, but it is LED, so it's black on a grey background, but it is very easy to see. Miles on the left hand side, revs on the right, water temperature, fuel and your odometer as well. So, And then obviously you've got your gear change indicator in there as well. Everything all nicely spaced out on that LED display, so it really is a good display. And of course it screams MT again, perfect copy. But from third gear, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. There we go. Now we're going to go in under RB Bridge, we're going to have a look around the bike. So six, nine, four, three, down to two, under the bridge, ease it down down to first gear and nice little display and up and then the neutral light comes on now side stand only on this bike so lean it over has got a good bit of lean to it just check out nice low seat plenty of room for the passenger grab rails to the rear everything's led all the way around this bike you're not going to have any problems at all fuel tank on this is absolutely massive. Now, the one thing I did point out, I'm not going to put this on, but down here, it's copied off the Venom and the Viper. It's got that Bluetooth and 
it's got the radio on it so you can have music playing through it if you want to go and see that go and look at the venom and the viper because it's identical but you've got the ability for bluetooth here so what does bluetooth on a bike mean it means that my phone is in my pocket i can whack the sat nav on and get my directions coming through the speakers i haven't got to look at anything i haven't got to put the phone on the bike i haven't got to put an extra clamp on there to hold my phone but you can have your directions coming out through bluetooth and the bluetooth on this is very very loud but obviously due to monetization you can't play music on youtube but you can get radio one and all your different radio stations on there kiss fm if you want it a little bit of drum and bass going on now controls pass light to the rear high low beam off the left side you've got your horn loud enough for me and the indicators and then over here you start switch your hazard lights and your start button so everything's nice and easy to see on the display down here so best thing the reservoirs are clear so you can actually see your fluid levels very easy big wide mirrors and the mirror on this is massive i've got loads and loads of road behind me in the mirrors so i can actually see perfectly on these mirrors just check it out the barges are coming down the canal so rb bridge right under the canal right under the main a5 in milton keynes is telling me we've got one bar of fuel left so five litres in this tank and it only lights up one bar but the tank on this is massive i think it's about 14 or 15 litres in this thing so check out the spec on that just go on to uh, lexmoto and pull up the spec of the lsn so there's so many different bike specs that i do every week and it's easier for you guys just to go off but it rolls through the gearbox really well so we're going to get to and do a final bit of mileage on this because we've already done five miles this one's going out for john as i said the first lot of uh, ride video it uh, someone forgot to record the audio so hopefully it's working this time and the one thing i do like about the eden star is obviously you get a view of the road in front and you get to see me riding so you get to see the riding position now bars on this are quite wide it's very comfortable on the arms wet roads as well dirty great big puddles avoid them there is loads and loads of crap down here but the tires on these are really really good so lexmoto really starting to put some decent tires on the bikes which is a good thing but obviously it's a round town liquid cooled bike as well in on the front brake nice and gentle and the braking on this is super good I'm going to sit back here on the road bump I do not like lorries that roll back so it gives me an escape route off to the side or go to the outside should he uh, stall it or not get it in gear we're going to sit and wait let the lorry clear nice and steady looking for a drink supplier oh it's a wine supplier RB likes that So there we go up in the third gear but the engine note off of this is really nice it has got a decent presence through that stainless steel exhaust and if you want to see the lsn review i believe we did a walk around on this one so go and check out the other review of the lsn we sold quite a few of these but obviously it is at the top end of the lexmoto price range so most 17 year olds don't want to spend a shed load of money on a bike but this one is just super super good now everyone said yes but you always praise the bikes you never give the down points this has one down point yes it has i have found it um easy to service the filters on the right hand side very easy to get to your water top up reservoir is right under the front grille just to the so as you're looking at the front of the bike it's to the left hand side or as you sat on the bike it's at the right just below that air intake and it's very easy to get there pop the top and to check your coolant level now the filters on the side everything's very easy to get to spark plug easy to maintain you haven't got to take any panels off you can get straight into that spark plug from the right hand side of the bike but oil oh yes the dipstick 
is at the front left of the bike as you sat on it behind a plastic panel and the dipstick is very small it is a pain in the backside to get that dipstick out to check your oil level and you have to refill via that as well which you can only do with a syringe so it is a bit of a pain to actually refill your oil in the bike or to check your oil level just that dipstick and it's because it's an Aprilia based copied engine but if you can get past having to check your oil well, you know it takes you about two minutes longer than it would be a normal bike most bikes right hand side of the bike just wick the dipstick out and you can check your level this one's right at the front left which you've got to get down on your hands and knees to unscrew it to take it out that is the only down point that I picked up on so if that's going to be the only thing is it going to bother me absolutely not but it is a bit of a faff just trying to obviously change your oil or to check your oil level because that dipstick's tucked away out of the way and it's obviously the only place they can put it but nice steady 30 round town we have cranked up eight miles which means quick blap down the jewel carriageway past tesco's and then back up the hill so while we're doing that and we are going round town check your shoulder check over there right we're gonna have a quick blap down the uh, dual carriageway past tesco's and the fuel stations and then we're going to head back to the garage i've got a bike coming in that needs a new front tire so i've got to do that nice big cb 500 now this week live streams last week's was absolutely amazing is James going to return? No, because he's been banned, unfortunately, but I'm sure we will get loads more James-type people on the live streams. It was great fun, and obviously I've got my two bodyguards now. I've now got, uh, obviously, Zedhead and Peaky Biker that are the admins on RB's live stream on a Friday. So if you are offended by bad language, don't come on the live streams, because it is uh, bikers only. Now, yesterday we had Peaky Bikers live stream, the midweek mumble and we had some very special guests in. We had Maverick and all the boys from the Motor Rev community, there was loads of them, there was five in the live stream with Peaky and it was just Motor Rev night and they are spelt M-O-T-O-U-R-E-V, Motor Rev. Massive great big uh, group of bikers, nice little uh, family gathering and those guys do a lot of tours do a lot of camping they have the motor rev weekend as well and they are all named after top gun characters so maverick craig is the big guy he runs motor rev and then you've got goose jester viper and yeah you could imagine it all the top gun names they're all in there as well so great little community if you haven't checked it out go and check out motor rev and they are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, they are everywhere. But as I said in the live stream last night, I've chatted to Craig quite a lot. Because he gives some great advice on obviously motorcycle camping, motorcycle tours. But I've never met Craig and we will one day. How you doing buddy? Nod nod. And people say, why do you nod to bikers that are on L plates? At the end of the day, you're on two wheels, we're all bikers. The only ones I won't nod to are the Ubers. So, LSN, test ride completed, there we go, 10 miles on the bike, braking in it, coming in on the back brake, loads and loads of brake force, great, braking on these bikes is exceptional, and it's got combined braking system on it as well, and people say, why is it not got ABS, believe it or not, combined braking system is actually cheaper to produce than an ABS braking system, that is why they put combined braking, and they had to have that to get through the Euro regs. And of course, the new Euro 5.5 is on the way. Not yet, though. So we're still on Euro 5, but the new Brussels Convention have said, oh, we're going to tighten the emissions up. Euro 5.5. Great. So any new bike now is going to have to be Euro 5.5. I don't have to worry about that because the Harley is probably about Euro 1, and it's, uh, it's loud, obnoxious, and drinks fuel, which is what I like. Let's kill the, kill the, uh, kill the planet, as I say. So, test ride completed, 
And it's nice to see the road is all nice and clear. <laughs> I wouldn't park there, mate. You're going to get a ticket. Can't park there. Right, we're back to the garage. We're going to put this one away and then we are out on the Diablo very, very shortly. That is my CV that I am putting the tyre on. So that is my next job. I'm back in time. I am going to do uh, Trisha's front tyre for her. We'll get this bike out of gear. We'll roll it back into the parking bay and one final look around the bike while I'm shooting the video. So, there we go. That's the CB500. I've got to put the front tyre on. Coming up in a while, we've got the Diablo that is next to me. We're going to be doing a ride test on that shortly and sitting in the corner, RB's bike. Now, if you happen to uh, notice that we did the bobber last week, it's running, it's all good and Believe it or not, we've bought the damn thing. So that's us. Until the next time, though, guys, be well, ride safe from RB. It's a big goodbye from me, and take care.